Hello everyone, I'm Matt. During the last uh, four years uh, I've bought a lot of external uh, hard drives, like this. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, like 10 terabytes worth of storage. These mini drives uh, come with a lot of power bricks, uh, a lot of wires lying around your uh, desk, uh, a lot of uh, USB ports you're gonna need. So, it's far far from the ideal solution. So finally I've made up my mind and I've built a NAS. A NAS is a network attached storage and hopefully will help me set up my personal 10 terabytes cloud service. I will shop on Amazon some parts to build a basic PC, nothing too fancy, in order to run free NAS, which will be the OS I'll be using. Here are the parts I've picked. For the RAM I went for a stick of Corsair 4 gigs DDR3 memory, nothing too exciting here. I found it on sale on Amazon for about 30 euros. Uh, it, was a, it was a sale so there might be a cheaper solution out there. Minimum specs for uh, RAM free NAS uh, says 8 gigs of RAM, so I may end up buying another stick of this one. For the motherboard, I picked the, the Gigabyte F2A88XM HD3 model with 8 set ports, which is the most important feature for a NAS. You can go cheaper, of course. I'd pay the, this one about 60 euros, but I'd rather pay a little more for uh, expandability. I didn't want to buy a graphic card for a NAS, so I settled for a, an APU. I picked the, the AMD APU A6 6400K dual core, 3.9 GHz up to 4.1 GHz for about uh, 60 euros. It's more gaming oriented as a processor, but uh, I hope it will, it will uh, age well, although it has just two cores. I plan of uh, leave this NAS nowhere in sight, so for the case uh, I went for uh, the horrible and the cheap uh, piece of garbage I had uh, lying around somewhere. And yes, it even has a floppy disk reader, so a vintage is that. As you can see it has uh, a lot of base uh, for hosting all of uh, my drives. Uh, the the PSU is even more ancient than the case itself. Uh, I had bought the adapters for the new standard, but meanwhile uh, I soldered some uh, connectors I had uh, around. So in the first phase uh, we will run uh, on uh, two HDD only. Hopefully 400, 400 watts uh, will be enough for power up all six drives. For things uh, I have installed all the drives uh, in the base. In order to fix the last one I had to do a little bit of drilling, but apart from that, pretty standard work. After that I proceed uh, connecting to power to random disks. So next we are going to assemble our uh, RAM and our uh, APU onto them, our motherboard. We make sure we are onto a wooden surface for avoiding uh, shorts. So we plug our RAM in, into one of the two slots. We make sure the, 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 the type RAM is correct, in this case it's a DDR3, 4 gigs. And we apply some force until the, the pin slides in place. About our APU, we are going to make sure that the little triangle uh, on the processor is aligned with the triangle uh, onto the motherboard. We are going to just put it without pushing it into the socket and we are going to put down the lever. So about the heat sink, it comes with a little bit of thermal group pre-applied and that's going to be enough because we are not going to overclock uh, the processor, it will run pretty idle for uh, most of the time. And of course we're gonna need to connect uh, the, the heat sinks fan 
to its uh, connector. And finally, we're gonna install the motherboard into our garbage case. First, we apply the, the, the metal mask on the side. And then, with a little bit of care for cable management, we slide in the motherboard. The motherboard itself is kept in place by four screws. After that, we're gonna connect the PSU with the 20 pins uh, connector and with the 4 pins connector and finally we're gonna plug in the headers for uh, the power button, the reset buttons uh, there are also headers for uh, USB on the case and uh, for microphone and uh, headphones but uh, we are not gonna connect that, those because we are uh, simply not gonna need it. And finally we are gonna plug in our drives with uh, a SATA cable. We are just gonna be a little bit careful because it's gonna be a little bit messy. Then we're gonna plug in our HDMI cable. Two sticks, one uh, with uh, the OS and the other in which uh, the OS will be installed. And of course uh, uh, a keyboard, a wireless keyboard. And then we're off uh, with the installer process. We're gonna go ahead and uh, for things we're gonna select our uh, drive in which we are gonna install uh, the DOS. Which in this case uh, an 8 gigs uh, USB. We're gonna need to set a password which we're gonna need later. and then the OS will be installed here we, here we go we have installed the free NAS OS onto the USB drive now I'm gonna power it off because I'm, I will need to move this NAS closer to my router in order to be plugged in Once uh, we are connected to the internet, uh, we can uh, reboot the NAS and go on with the installation process. We're just gonna need to, to be a little bit patient because it's gonna take a while, about uh, 5 minutes. At the end of the process, uh, we're gonna see an IP address at the bottom of the page and uh, we are gonna need to write this down because it's gonna be the, the NAS address and finally we are gonna log in in a normal computer typing in, in the browser um, the IP address we had uh, written down we are gonna log, log with the username root and the password we set uh, before once uh, we are in we are gonna run the wizard we're gonna specify a language time zone and the keyboard he's gonna figure out the keyboard maps by himself by the way Then we're gonna specify the purpose 
I put log because I uh, I don't need backup. I have uh, other drives for backup, so I'm gonna go with write zero. Here I'm gonna leave as a default. And then I'm gonna prepare a, a share for my Mac OS. I'm gonna need specify name. And the user and the group. And of course, I'm gonna need a password. The group, I'm gonna just leave uh, the one which were there by default. I'm gonna click add, and here's my share. I'm gonna leave uh, all this stuff. Uh, by default, apart from the console messages, which are gonna be useful, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna set up the email services. And here, a wizard gonna set up uh, the volume. It's gonna take about uh, a couple of minutes, more or less, and then. Here we go. All done. So there you have it. An easy way not to be bound with a Google Drive or Dropbox and for having uh, a lot of storage for all your stuff. And if you'll need uh, some more storage in the future, you can just buy another drive and put it into your case. This little project costs about 200 euros, but if you have uh, something lying around at home, such as the PSU or the case, you can as well uh, use it. It's an ass after all, not a PC. I'll be sure to check the power consumption because in a 24-7 system you cannot overlook uh, this aspect. Anyway, that's all. I hope uh, this will be helpful and see you next time.